Hi everyone and welcome to this Valkyrie Sound tutorial on what is the switch node in UE4 SoundQ. In this video we're going to create a simple bullet time setup. When we aren't in bullet time we'll have one type of looping background sound and when we are in bullet time we'll have a different sound. The switch node selects which audio will play depending on the value of the integer. In this example if the integer equals zero we'll play a looping wave called normal time which sounds like this. If the integer is 1, then we'll play a looping sound called bullet time, which sounds like this. And if for some reason we don't get a 0 or a 1 value, then we'll play a debug sound, which is this one. If we select the switch node, you can see they've called mine bullet time audio without any spaces, which is up here in the int parameter name. That's everything we need to set up our sound cue. Now we'll go to the third person blueprint and we'll set up the control for the switch node and the bullet time. Before we exit the sound cue, easy way of finding this in the content browser is clicking on browse. That will take us directly to the sound cue. We pick that up and we drag it into the third person character and we want to just pop it in the upper left here. You can see mine selected there. By default, this will be set to auto activate which is this tick box here. As soon as the game goes live, as soon as we take control of the character, the sound is going to be triggered to play. A simple bullet time effect is fairly quick to set up. It's not going to be quite to the super hot standard, more like super not. But it shows one of the ways in which we can use the switch node. In the third person blueprint, find the movement section that Epic have already created. And from the input axis move forward node, you can either right click on the axis value there and click on promote to variable or you can drag off and click promote to variable that way. Run out an execution pin from the add movement input node into that so that we are setting this new variable each time we're getting a value from the input axis. I've named this one forward and then I've done the same for the input axis move right down here as well. Uh, same way to do it, we right click or drag out from that pin, promote the variable, attach the execution output of the add movement input node up to this one, and I've named this one right. Next, from the event tick node, drag out and add a branch node. Drag in our two new variables as get nodes, like that. And then we want to plug each of those into a not equal node. So from these, we would just type in not equal, float and we're going to leave that lower value as zero. So these nodes return as true if the input doesn't match the lower value, which is zero in this case. If it doesn't match zero, then the player is moving. And if it does match zero, then the player isn't moving. We're going to connect both of these to an OR node. Just dragging off, typing in OR boolean. And that means that if we aren't moving along either the forward vector or the right vector, then we're going to return a true value. Hook that up to the condition input of the branch node. And then from the true execution pin of the branch node, we're going to add a set global time dilation node. Set global time dilation. And by default, that's at zero. But we want this top value to be one. Because when this is true, we want normal time to run. And then do the same for the false pin, this time setting the time dilation value to 0.05. From each of those pins, we're going to drag out and add a set integer parameter node. And you can see that it's going to automatically attach that to our sound cue. Change the name in the node to the bullet time audio node, or whatever value you had on your switch. So it's bullet time audio for me here. Make sure it's the same, including any spaces, as what you enter here, so that it can find it and communicate effectively between the two scripts. Set the appropriate int value here that corresponds to the sound that you want to play in the sound cue. On mine, I've used zero for the normal time, and I've used one for the bullet time. Those are the integers I'm going to reference here. This is a normal time, so zero. This is our bullet time, so that's one. And just double check that you have the sound cue attached to the target for both of these set integer parameter nodes. You can compile and save that. 
and that's us done. So now, if we go and let's make this bigger, Alt and P to play. As you can see, we're in the bullet time mode. We can hear the bullet time loop. Everything's moving really slowly, and when I start moving, we get the alternative sound. Jump, release all the keys, and we are back to our bullet time mode. Now it's a very simple, basic setup for bullet time, and it's just one of the many ways that we can use switch nodes in Unreal Engine. If you're interested in a different way we can move smoothly between different tracks, especially for music, you can check out my video on music zones. And that's it for the switch node. Take care, and thanks for watching.